Okay, we're going to start working with measurements and units um, in this section of material. And first of all, we're going to start off with just um, the United States measurement system, the U.S. customary measurements, what it's called. Now, um, our system is, uh, there's a lot to it. There's a lot of different things that you have to remember. Um, but, you know, you have to be able to convert back and forth between units because, especially because of the way our system is. Um, you know, let's say that you go to measure your living room carpet your living room for it because you want to get new carpet. Well, if you pull out a measuring tape, you're going to be measuring in feet and inches. But then, I don't know if you paid attention to, like, um, commercials for carpet on TV. Sometimes it's sold by the square foot. Sometimes it's sold by the square yard. So you really have to be able to convert back and forth just for, you know, everyday type items. Okay, now what I have here, oops, let me move back up again. That was went a little too far down. Here I have a table of the U.S. customary measurement relationships. These are things that we have to know. So, um, you know, as we go forward here, I'm, I'm not going to be doing any examples in this particular video. We're just going to be talking about the relationships here. You might want to take a minute if you don't, if you're not in my class, to have this printed out. Um, you might want to take a minute to jot this down, and you may keep it on like a, a note card or something like that because you know you'll want to refer back to this as we're working examples, and then also as you're working through problems or just to have around because I mean this is incredibly important that we understand how to. Um, convert things. Now if you're going on in your education, you're doing some science classes and stuff, it's going to be crucial that you know how to convert units. Um, in science, we do things, our conversions, we do with a method called dimensional analysis. And that's exactly the way I'm going to show you here this first time. I think that that's um, the best way for us to talk about it. Okay, now, whenever I say that you have to know these things, a lot of these things you already do know. I mean, we know that there are seven days in a week. These are equivalents. They are the exact same. We know there's 24 hours in a day or 60, hour, uh, 60 minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in a minute. Now, some things that we may not know off the top of our head are things like capacity. There are eight fluid ounces in a cup, two cups in a pint, two pints in a quart, four quarts in a gallon. We have to know these. Um, things. Uh, another thing that you probably already know and are quite aware of, that there are 12 inches in a foot, three feet in a yard. Now one you may not know off the top of your head, which you should, is that there's 5,280 feet in a mile. I saw that once as a question on one of the game shows and the um, the contestant lost because they didn't know how many feet there were in a mile. So, you know, this is, this is stuff that could help you out one day. You want to make sure and, and know these things. And then finally, um, 16 ounces in a pound. We should know that. And that there are 2,000 pounds in a ton. Now, this is different. This is not a metric ton. Um, I've seen a lot of times where they talk about metric tons. A metric ton is not the same thing as a regular ton. So this 2,000 pounds is only for the U.S. measurement of tons. Okay, so take a minute, write these down, get every bit of this where you can refer back to it, and then we're going to start working some problems.